We're here at uh, Clay Hill. That's in Atwood, Tennessee. This is a Saturday night show. Uh, they got some extra money in several classes. I don't think there's, I think it's just like 500 to win for us. I'm hoping we get a good car count, but there's a lot of tracks running locally tonight, um, all the same classes. So I hope we got a good turnout here. So I'm at the Street Stock Nationals and I'm really struggling to get drive. I'm, you know, I'm just struggling and I'm looking at everything. What's different between me and everybody else, you know? Like, why am I struggling more? Um, and really just trying to look hard at everybody else's car and figure out, you know, what all those variables are. One of the things I saw was I saw extremely small grooves. So I was seeing a lot of your front runners that their H500 tires had grooves in them, but they were just microscopic. They weren't really taking any rubber away from those H500 tires, but they were grooving them up, I guess, to let that rubber twist and work. And so I got to researching and I think this is what they're doing. So I got me one. And so it is a hot cyper, but this cyper will groove. So you can put uh, you can put that smallest, like number one grooving blade into this cyper instead of razor blades. And this is what they're doing in order to get those grooves in there. Those little bitty, little bitty grooves across, like the right rear would have these little bitty uh, grooves that weren't very deep. Um, you know, it was, of course, I guess that, that's letting that rubber really twist, you know, and stuff, but you're not removing a lot of rubber from it. So I had to get one, um, you know, and I'm gonna work on some tires. We've been so busy, I couldn't even get to this. And we're at the track. I'm gonna get me a right rear ready for the feature tonight, though. Iron needs to get a little bit hotter, which it ain't been plugged in that long. It'll probably get hotter. Of course, it's not really designed, it's designed to sight, not groove, but. I mean, it said, you know, you can run a number one grooving blade in it. And, yep. That works. I'm going to put this one on my left rear on the feature. I'm not going to be able to get everything. I'm going to do the right. I'm going to do a right rear and a left rear for the feature. And we'll see what this thing does. So you can see how this thing. See these little bitty microscopic? And see what it is. There. Got those. Of course, you could put a whole bunch of razor blades in there or something, but you can put three little grooving heads in it like that. So, anyway. So, yeah, that's what it is. We're going to do that, see what that does. definitely different um, front end is definitely a lot more limber uh, but uh, car was getting a little bit tail out with me um, I need to tighten it up some well I went ahead and pulled the spring rubber out of the right rear just looking at the track getting here now and as dry as it was and everything it's like okay that's got to go that right spring rubber has got to go it needs a little bit more i believe it needs some more left rear in the car she was tailing out pretty easy on me and i've got the chain out enough i've got the chain out at three inches of slack so i don't want to change the chain height uh and that 750 on the right front is 
pretty freaking soft. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna crank around into my right front just to put some more load into the left rear so that'll add some preload to the left rear. You know, it probably will help me in the center. It's risky when you make adjustments based on hot laps, but I've changed so much that I know my car, I'm just kind of, you know, swinging from a starting point that like, you know, who knows? So we're gonna put one round in it and then go run the heat race and see what it does. jack on the right front that was a good move i think that helped um car was rolling over just fine but tracks coming apart i'm putting this rubber right back in this right rear that i just took out because the track is absolutely coming all to pieces not going to stay together it had holes forming in the heat race that were already huge holes so we gotta put this in here See where my my O ring's way way down, but that's that's just from running through holes. That's all that's from. That's not load doing that. That's holes doing that. appreciate it. I haven't been able to show it yet. Hopefully I'll be able to show it in the next video. But anyway, um, I'm fixing to tighten my left front up the chain just a little bit. Take it down to about an inch and a quarter. Okay. Get there.
gonna say cars faster after I made the changes to the front end. I think the car was working better. It's definitely more responsive. I let it get out from underneath me one time. Um, it got squirrely on me, and boy, those shocks and soft springs started really working against me on that. But uh, but other than that, like I just had to really stay on the numbers, and like when I was out in the slick, you know, just uh, slowly throttling up in the slick and everything, you know, car was working, car was consistent. I'm happy with it. It's better than it was. It's not fast enough yet. Yeah, definitely better. So we're going to take it to the 5,000 to win next Saturday. So y'all stay tuned for that. See you next time.